So recall that in the previous video we stopped over here. We were looking for the probability of having a good movie given that it is recommended. So let's solve this below. The probability of having a good movie, the probability of having a good movie given that it is recommended. And by using the property of conditional probabilities, that's going to be the probability of having a good movie and being recommended divided by the probability of recommending a movie. Now, we already calculated this in the matrix uh, one video ago. So, the probability of having a good movie and recommending it is 3 divided by 16 and the probability of recommending a movie overall, that's 3 over 8. So, 3 over 16 divided by 3 over 8, that's just going to give us a probability of 1 over 2. So, that's going to be 1 over 2. So, let's fill that in our table. This will be a probability of 1 over 2. 1 over 2. Now, the remaining probability is the complement. So, the probability of having a bad movie, given that it is recommended, is also going to be the 1 over 2 remaining. Now, with these two probabilities in mind, we can calculate this expected value. We can calculate, we can calculate the expected value of, of the following cell, of the following cell, of going to the movie given, given uh, that we have this advice. So, what is the expected value of following the advice of going to a movie given by our friend Tony? Well, that's going to be 1 over 2 probability times the expected value of having a good movie of 56 plus 1 over 2 probability times the expected value of having a negative 24 payoff. Now this works out to an expected value, to an expected value of, this works out to an expected value of, um, how much is it? 16. So 16, that's that the expected value. Now the expected value of not going to the movie, well, is just a loss of 8. There's no probabilities. We just don't go to the movie. And that would give us an, a, a loss of 8. So we would have negative 8 over here as a payoff. If we compare, if we compare the if we compare the outcomes, we would choose to go because we have a higher expected value, a higher expected payoff. So the overall expected value of going to a movie is gonna be 16. Because if Tony tells us to go, we decide to go. That's what we just computed. We saw what's better for us to go to the movie and take the risk or not go to the movie at all. Well, going to the movie and taking the risk gives us a pretty good expected value. There's a high chance of enjoying ourselves with a good movie. That's what this is showing us. So we would decide to go to the movie if Tony advises us to do so. Now, with the same logic, let's see what happens over here. What if the advice is not to go to the movie? What if he does not recommend the movie, in other words? Well, we're looking at the conditional probabilities again. What is the probability of having a good movie given that it is not recommended? And let's solve this here below. So, the probability of having a good movie given that it is not recommended. By using the property of conditional probabilities, we'll have the same method of solving. We'll have the probability of having a good movie and not being recommended divided by the probability of not recommending it. And we can use the data that we found in the previous video because we have this. We have the probability of having a good movie and not recommending good movie and not recommending it that's 1 over 16 so that's 1 over 16 and the probability of not recommending a movie the probability of not recommending a movie is 5 over 8 it's the entire probability over there so that's divided by 5 over 8 now if we calculate this what do we get that's 1 over 16 1 over 16 multiplied with 8 over 5 so we multiply with the inverse and if we cancel out some stuff here 8 and 16 that's, uh, we, we simplify by 8, so that's 1 over 2 times 5, that's 1 over 10. So we found one more conditional probability. So if that is 1 over 10, this probability over here is 1 over 10, then the other probability, the probability of having a bad movie, a bad movie, given that it is not recommended, is the complement. That's going to be 9 over 10. And with this in mind, and the payoffs that we have, we can calculate again the expected value of going to a movie, given given that Tony tells us not to go. What is the probability of taking the risk to go to the movie against Tony's advice? So that would be the uh, 1 over 10 probability times the expected payoff over here of 56 of enjoying ourselves with a good movie. Let me just change colors because this is not very visible. Let me do it like that. Plus 9 over 10 probability, 9 over 10 times the expected payoff of having a bad movie and also paying for the advice, so that's minus 24 minus 24, hope you can see that. And that gives us an overall expected value equals to, equals to 
minus 16 so that would be minus 16 it's quite it's quite bad like it's it's yeah it's a bad choice now let's compare that to the to the alternative what if we just decide not to go not to take the risk he we already paid for the advice he tells us not to go and we say okay we don't go then we just incur the cost of the advice that would be minus eight still minus eight is a better loss than minus 16 we're losing less so between these two we would choose to not go to the movie overall so the the choice here would be not go to the movie and we would have an expected an expected payoff of minus eight in other words if tony recommends us not to go to the movie it's not worth for us to risk and uh, do the opposite of what he advises us so we just decide not to go to the movie as he says that's the intuition over here now let's leave it like that for this video in the next one we will keep working for the remaining conditional probabilities